Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking Up Love. Today I'm going to share our stovetop mac and cheese recipe with Velveeta and cheddar cheese. This is our favorite easy mac and cheese. It's super cheesy and it's got that classic mac and cheese flavor thanks to the cheddar and the Velveeta sauce. And it's all ready in about 15 minutes, almost as fast as making it from a box. Let me show you how we make it. We'll be using a package of macaroni. This is seven ounces of mini elbows. You can also use seven or eight ounces of your favorite pasta. Two tablespoons of butter, about four ounces or half a cup of Velveeta cubed, and this is the Velveeta Blanco. Salt and pepper to taste. Two cups of milk, two tablespoons of flour, and about a cup of sharp cheddar grated. First, cook the pasta according to the package directions. I usually use less water than what the package says, about enough to cover the pasta by an inch or two. Bring the water to a boil, and if you're pressed for time, remember to salt your water after it boils, because it'll take longer to boil your water if it's salted before. And I'm using about a tablespoon of kosher salt here. Add the pasta and give it a stir so the pasta doesn't stick together or to the bottom of the pan and cook according to your package directions. We like a soft macaroni for mac and cheese, so I'm cooking it for about eight minutes, and I'll stir the pasta every few minutes and test it for doneness. When the pasta is cooking, grate one cup of cheese. I'm using a sharp cheddar because it's got great flavor. If you don't have this, you could use a medium cheddar, a gouda, or a smoked gouda would be good too. When the pasta is done, drain off the water and don't rinse it. And I'm gonna hold the pasta in the colander while I make the cheese sauce in the same pot. You'll notice I didn't rinse the pot. It's still hot from cooking the pasta and the cool water could damage it. Drop in two tablespoons of butter and let it melt over medium heat. Then whisk in two tablespoons of flour and cook this mixture over medium high heat for about two minutes until it turns golden. And whisk this constantly. This is our roux and it's going to help make that creamy, silky cheese sauce. Have two cups of milk ready, and when you see the color of the roux change to a golden color, like this, slowly add in the milk and whisk it constantly to keep it smooth. Bring the milk mixture to a boil and continue cooking for about three to five minutes until it's thickened. If you like this recipe, press the like button to let me know. And if you've got a friend who's learning to cook or who loves mac and cheese, share this recipe and let them know you're thinking of them. Okay, next add in the shredded cheese gradually, stirring the mixture so the cheese melts in smoothly. So mac and cheese is definitely one of our favorites when we're serving up barbecue. What's your favorite side dish to eat with barbecue? Add in the Velveeta cheese, and this is that Velveeta Blanco. I had it left over from some Philly cheesesteak sandwiches we made earlier this week. You can use the regular Velveeta if that's what you have. The Velveeta Blanco has a slightly milder taste. Continue stirring the mixture until it's all melted. I'm adding in about a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper for the seasoning. You could also add two tablespoons of your favorite hot sauce here. Next, add in the macaroni pasta and stir. And that's it, super creamy homemade mac and cheese in about 15 minutes. And if you use two pots, it'll be ready in about eight minutes. It's perfect for an easy lunch or dinner and it's a great side for your next barbecue or potluck. Hey, thank you so much for watching guys. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.